Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me again, Antonio. This is uh, we're gonna. This is the continuation of my other videos. Uh, I'm released from the from the inf uh, from the reserves, so now I'm I'm blogging some videos on my experience and how it was for me to be and the forces so <coughs> excuse me i already uh so this is my third video the first one was on uh how, how it happened for me when i enrolled and i applied to get on and then the, the second video was about when i got sworn in and when i picked up the kit um so then the next step in my military journey was uh uh freaking battle school you know basic basic military qualifications uh so what happened was they put me to basic right uh basically what happens in basic is you become a freaking, uh, you know what I mean? Come a soldier, you know what I mean? So, you be out there in the field for the first time, you know what I mean? So anyways, so you gotta go to basic, right? BMQ, right? Basic military qualifications. So for me, it was about like five weeks or so, six weeks or so. So this was my first experience. This is the like the first taste of really military life and what I was getting into. Uh, right now I'm in the comfort of my own home and it's a beautiful feeling. You know what I mean? But back then I was really in the trenches, bro. I was really uh, living it. So how it went for you it, for me. It's like BMQ, it's, it stands basic military qualification. You go to battle school for five weeks, six weeks. So right off the get go right now, my beard is long, my, my, my hair is long, right? Like, you know, back then my hair was cut short to a certain length, you know what I mean? Had no beard, had to be shaven every morning. So how it went was, uh, you go to the armory or whatever you're training. Luckily, I got to train uh, in the city. So I didn't have to leave the city. But we would have to go in Sunday night. You check in, you know, in the barracks in the city. And then you check out Friday night. You get a pass out to go see your family for Saturday. You got to come back Sunday afternoon back, excuse me. Sunday afternoon, back, back, f f reporting back for training. So I had to do that for like five, six weeks. So yeah, basically you go in on Sunday, you bring all your kit, whatever you need. You check into battle school and then you stay in there from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday afternoon-ish night, you get to go home for a day. Then you come back Sunday and you do it all over again. So that was the first taste for me of army experience, right? So how it go for me on the first week, right? The first night you check in, you know what the hell going on. You come in, boom, boom, with all your stuff. You get in, in into the armory or whatever you're going to, you know, you get your cut, you set up, you still... Like, I don't know what the hell is going on. You meet some guys, you know? So they ask you for all this stuff. You bring all your quit, all your kit, and you start your training. That's crazy, you know? You're in the army now. Anyways, so I remember the first week, I think it was much like the first day they asked you to, to write like a biography. They asked us at least write about a bio about why you wanted to join the army, why you're there doing what you're doing and et cetera, et cetera, right? So 
and then what you do, hobbies, so they can get to know you. You know, the staff can get to know you. The, the guys, the crazy guys running the course can get to know you, you know? But anyways, <clears throat> um, yeah, so in battle school, you learn, pretty much you learn how to march, you know, how to drill. You learn a lot of like, 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 um, you just learn stuff like instructions, how to dress, deportment, uh, you know, the, the rules, the army, like, you learn, like, basically, like, the Geneva Convention, you learn a lot of stuff in the first week, mostly marching, then you learn, uh, you know, you learn, you learn, uh, well, uh, you learn your rifle, right? You learn your rifle, how to take it apart, clean it, march with it. Uh, you're marching with it, you know, taking it apart, uh, you know, how to handle it, all of that stuff. What else you learn? Mm, you learn, uh, <clears throat> uh, you, you learn a lot of stuff, you know, and, and, and that first intro to, to becoming a soldier, right? Uh, you know, I think you learn some CBRN. Uh, you know, you put on some some body suits. Also, you get introduced to the field for the first time, right? You spend a week in the field for the first time. You go out in the field, you know what I mean? You get down to the bottom of things. That's why you signed up, especially if you're in the infantry, bro. You'll be in the field, fam, you know? You'll be in the trenches learning how to set up your hooch, how to survive in the weather, you know what I mean? How to do all of that with your gun. You also go shooting, right? You qualify for your shooting. So you shoot your, your rifle. Um, but yeah, battle school is crazy, man. Battle school is, is, is pretty intense. Battle school is high, high intensity, right? Right from the get-go, I remember, boom, there's so many issues, right? You wake up at 5.30, you shave. You fucking go for a run, like a five, uh, five kilometer run, whatever you do, some PT. Then you go, you go in the communal showers or whatever you shower. You run back for inspection, and then you start your classes for the day, right? Whatever that might be, the whatever you might be learning that day, whatever the topic, whether it is fucking weapons, uh, you know, <clears throat> whether it is. You know, law, government, whatever, right? History, CBRN, your guns, whatever, man. You got all these fucking classes about everything in the army, right? <clears throat> uh, also, you eat, whatever. Uh, what else? Uh, but yeah, like, yeah, battle school is crazy, man. It, like, sometimes uh, you also, you know, you, you in a day, you be doing, like, at nighttime, you have to do an hour, two hour of security watch uh, or fire watch, whatever. So you're not really sleeping well for the whole week you're in there, whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, man, shit get intense. You know, people break, you know, people crack down. You know, I've seen grown men cry and shit and fucking, you know, grown men fucking throw up and shit, you know. Some of these guys act so stupid in fucking battle school that they have to get issue a stupid stick with their name on it and they have to carry the stupid stick so everybody fucking know they're stupid. That's how bad it gets in battle school. It gets pretty intense, you know, waking up early in the morning, the grind, that some of these kids are so fucked that they need some real discipline in their life, you know? I myself, you know, needed some back in the day, so... That's what it is, you know? You fuck you wake up, you're on the go, you're running everywhere, you're not walking, you're running everywhere, doing push-ups, all kinds of stuff, man. Somebody fuck up, everybody doing push-ups, you know? <laughs> uh, sometimes they will let us out in the evening to go for a walk and get some pizza and come back. To kind of feel normal for a bit down the street, you know? But not too many times we got like evening passes, right? Because people will fuck up, of course. And then everybody will pay for it, right? Like the one time uh, some guy signed the pass and then they forgot to account one guy in, whatever. 
I'll leave that for another video of battle school. It was the time a guy fucking threw up because he was fucking getting pushed so hard early in the morning for breakfast. Um, it was a time a guy cried, man, because like, so there's this thing, there's a training day where it's called going back to the future or some shit like that. So you wake up in the morning, right? Like five in the morning, sharp, whatever. You go through the day. Around five, six, seven o'clock, they fucking, they, they force fucking sleep you like for an hour. Then you wake up and it's back to the future or back to the past, whatever. So you start the day over again. Just like you started it when you were at 5 a.m. And yo, it could get real stressful, right? Because they're fucking with you all day, pretty much. That's all it is. But, uh, yeah, that was battle school, you know? And at the end of battle school, at the end of all that craziness, I don't remember if it was battle school or or, or my, my infantry qualification, but we went into the hut where they burned some fucking spice for CBRN, right? So you put your gas mask, you go into a hut, they simulate like some sort of fucking chemical, and then, but it's spicy, right? It burns your eyes. It's like pepper spray type of shit. So they burn it. If you don't put your mask on in time and shit, you're going to burn. So it's just training, right? So you know how to put your mask on and react in a chemical attack, right? On a CBR environment. So anyways, that was fun. Shooting was fun. Also, at the end of it, at, at the end of the five, six week of, of, of just constant drilling and intense freaking learning. Oh, we did, oh yeah, we did, uh, what is it, combat, combat aid, <clears throat> combat first aid, right? So they teach you a lot of, it's like first aid, but a little bit more advanced. They teach you some, some good stuff, like like more combat related and carries. They have some really good carries for, for combat first aid in the military, in the army, it was fun. Uh, so at the end, um, you know, you make some friends, you get introduced to the mess type of life. You know, the, the mess life in the army is crazy. Not a lot of people know about the mess. The mess is a, a place where, where the soldiers can gather and chill out. You know, play some pool, whatever, some football talk, listen to music. There's a bar, you know, it's just like a private thing, you know, where you guys can just chill and hang out. So anyways, at the end of the training, you have a party, right? A course party. Uh, so you go in the afternoon, you go to the mess, have a few drinks, and you're supposed to go back to your bunker, right? Right. So imagine being so fucking stressed for five weeks. And then they give you a little bit of leash and say, okay, you know, have a party. So guys get fucking loaded, right? And that's what happened to us. Um, at the end of everything, it was our course party, right? Holy, what a fucking time we had. We're supposed to just have two, three beers and then that's it. Anyways, we went to the mess. We had a few drinks. We had a few more drinks. We're feeling good. We we were in the city, so we said, you know what? Let's go outside, have a few more drinks. People took off to different type of bars, so we went for a walk later on, like ten, eleven. Got so hammered at night. Went to like two, three bars, bar hopping. We went, cause it was last call when we left. I remember it was last call. Nobody would let us in cause it was like eleven, uh, one thirty a.m., two a.m., and then. We came back by this little bar, um, and the, the bouncer knew the sergeant we were with, or, or core sergeant. They knew the bouncer knew him, so he let us all in around two, and then we all got last beers for last call. I got like four of them, five of them. We're drinking. We already been drinking, so whatever. We killed those beers, whatever. We're in the bar vibing, you know. We go back around three, four in the morning, drunk as fuck. You know, I get back to the armory, I don't know how. It was a mess, you know, I might have got a little aggressive and stuff, you know. Uh, anyways, shit happens. So, um, 
Yeah, so remember, this is our course party. We're supposed to have our graduation the next day at 8, 8.30 in the morning. We're supposed to be awake marching, doing marching drills for our final uh, ceremony and all of that shit and doing rehearsals, you know, all of us with our weapons and stuff, signing weapons out, all of that stuff, all of that good stuff. Because all of our parents is going to come see us for that final ceremony of us completing this course. And we're fucking shit. Some of us is fucking loaded at 3 a.m. still, 3, 4 a.m. So I came back, got an armor, and boom, I'm so fucking loaded. I kicked the dude out of his cod. The cod is like this little thing you sleep on, right? I kicked him out, allegedly. The guy was cool as fuck, so I slept. He slept on the floor. Then he said I threw up on the side. And then he cleaned it because he's such a good man, bro. I owe this guy so much ever since. I respect him so much. Anyways, uh, not really too proud to say all this, but that's what happens, you know? I was in some, you know, intense times, and that's just what we do. Anyways... He took care of me, fam. I woke up, fucking seven, eight, oh, all fucked up. You know what happened? I was so fucking hungover, dog. I was hungover, and my boy was telling me what happened. I was like, no fucking way. I'm so sorry, bro. I was like, why you sleep on the floor? You could have slept on the cot, on my cot. He's like, don't worry about it. It's a wash off. I got you. I say, yo, fam, we're fucking family for life. I got you. Anyways, we continue the day around 3, 4. We was graduated from fucking basic military uh, qualifications, battle school. And we was a, a, a private trained, you know? I, so that's pretty much how it went. Uh, but anyways, that was a lot. That was a lot. Uh, if I remember more stuff, I make more videos. But for this one, I'm just gonna cut it here. Uh, cause my next jerk, my next step of the way was, uh, <clears throat> I, I, was, I did some, on, some, a little bit more training, like in the field and stuff like that with, uh, so some exercises before I got to do my my uh my uh my trade which is infantry right my they call it DP one DP point one point one one point two which is your infantry trade with that that's that's when everything got real good for that was like the meat and the potatoes of my whole career and training. I love that time of my life. Like that was one of the best things ever that I did. But anyways, I'm going to leave that for another video. You know, it's your boy Antonio. Right now I'm comfortable right here, bro. But at one point in my life, it was real fucking rough. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to check out my IG. Make sure you like, make sure you like, you check out the other videos. Uh of this series of my journey through the military uh in the reserves but uh anyways guys i gotta go to sleep and shit so uh I'll, I'll, I'll make the other video later